Hi guys, uh, I'm making this video because uh, some people keep asking me if they can put CO2 directly into their magazine. They um, they want to get like one of those Mad Bull CO2 chargers for their Mad Bull grenades, and they want to inject that directly into the magazine, and they think that that's somehow going to uh, work like a regulated system, and it's not. Um, <clears throat> what's happening with a regulated system is that you've got P uh, CO2 is like 850 psi normally. You know, it can vary a lot with temperature, but normally it's 850 psi, and your gun operates at around 100 psi. And uh, if you increase pressure a little bit, you know, you'll get a little bit more velocity. But if you um, increase it a lot, uh, for one, uh, the the striker spring cannot release that pressure out of the magazine. Um, so, like, if you go above, you know, like. 120 psi, even 110 psi. Sometimes, if your striker spring is not upgraded, um, it's not going to be able to release that pressure. So, you probably notice this if you've ever taken the magazine, charged it, and then tried to push on that little, um, that little release valve where the, you know, where the where the the firing pin hits it. Um, it's hitting that with a lot of force, and so if you just try and push on it, it's hard until you push on it hard enough and then the pressure, some of the gas comes out and then it's a little bit easier to push, you know. Or if it's completely empty you can push it easy. So, um, the, the higher the pressure, the harder that is to push, which means your striker spring can't release that pressure. But going back to injecting CO2 directly into the magazine, you're either going to, most, most of those Mad Bull kits um, are going to have an anti-siphon valve, so the, the liquid CO2, uh, which is CO2 that's been compressed so much that it's turned to a liquid form. Um, liquid CO2, which again is at around 850 psi, that can't get into the magazine. And uh, if it did, that means you'd be getting a full 850 psi into the magazine. And uh, that would cause that magazine to swell or break, you know, or burst or something. It, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be safe and it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't work in your gun even if you could do it. Um, <clears throat> the reason why just charging it with 100 psi doesn't work, like with the Mad Bull charger or any other charger, is because you've now just pressurized that chamber in, in the magazine to 100 psi, um, and there's no liquid CO2. And because of that, um, you're going to get one shot at at um, 100 psi, and then after that, it's pretty much gone. I mean, the pressure's down to like 30 psi after that because you released a volume, uh, you know, a certain volume, and then it hasn't been replenished, so you get one shot, and that's it. And so that's stupid. Uh, it's not going to work. People have asked if, if, you know, HPA is the same thing, if they can just inject 100 psi of air into the chamber, and it's the same thing. It, it's The reason why CO2 cartridges work is because it has a lot of compressed gas in there in liquid form, and every time you shoot, that liquid form turns to gas. And so as that liquid um, is used up and, and it expands, you know, in that chamber, um, it, basically, you run out of gas when the liquid's gone. Okay, you'll have a little pressure left from you know, but but basically, when the liquid's gone, it's you know, then you're you're done with that cartridge. So you can't just inject CO2 into your into your magazine because you'll either break the magazine. It won't work even if you could get it in there, and uh, and if you could get 850 psi in your in your gun and it would work, it would shoot way too high a velocity. You know, 850 psi is eight times. So I mean, I imagine it would be going. And it wouldn't ever happen, but it'd probably be going a couple thousand feet per second. So that's probably not going to work. So um, you have to have uh, a, you know, a, a regulated system. The regulator is the key. So it's not just by virtue of using um, CO2 that you get good consistency and accuracy. What, what's actually doing it is the regulator. So <clears throat> you've got your, your CO2 cartridge that's holding that liquid CO2. And the reason why the CO2 cartridge can hold it is because it's in a strong shape. It's also made of steel. And, uh, you know, the fact that it's round makes it able to hold a lot of pressure, whereas our magazines are, you know, bolted together and they aren't going to hold that much pressure. But anyway, you have your CO2 cartridge, and that runs to your regulator. And what your regulator is doing is it's taking that, that um, gas CO2, and it's only allowing, you know, 100 psi or whatever you've set it at, it's only allowing 100 psi to charge the other side of that of the regulator. So the line that runs to your magazine, you know, that is only 100 psi, whereas everything behind it's 850. So uh, the regulator is the key, and the reason why 
uh, a regulated system works, obviously, is because you have a high pressure on one side that um, is this reserve, you know. So the high pressure reserve is what allows the regulator to work, you know. If, if, if you didn't have uh, 850 PSI, you know, and, and when you make a shot, maybe it goes down to 800 PSI, and then you shoot, you shoot again, and then, you know, it's 750, and you shoot again, and then it's 700, you know. It's not actually how, it's probably not that much difference, but, but just know that, that there's, an, there's a, a reserve over here in the CO2 cartridge, and it has to go through that regulator before it gets to your magazine, and that's what allows it to be accurate. So, um, for you guys who are thinking you're going to get a Mad Bowl charger and charge up your magazine, don't do it, because you'll, you'll break your magazine, or it's just not going to work, okay? All right, have a great day, guys.